Let the debates begin. Let's uh, let's just do this recap. Terrence, what games again? You know what? I didn't like uh, do the Dream Course and Mario World 2 and the Star Fox 1. They should have been out. And in their place, TMNT4, Mystical Ninja, and Pocky Brocky. And for me, games that shouldn't be there, Kirby Superstar, Contra 3, F-Zero, replaced by Chrono Trigger, Soul Blazer, and Tiny Toons Adventures, Buster Bust Loose. Coming down from the live studio audience, he's going to give a quick play of each of these and uh, kind of be the judge. So Terrence, this one's on your list of games that should be here. I don't know, I just don't think it gets the respect that it deserves, you know? And, Look I at mean, that. Look at that artwork. It's built on the uh, first three games on the NES. The graphics were better, obviously. Uh, I think it's a lot smoother. Oh wow, man. I, I really yeah. like how the uh, yeah. it's like a comic book there, hey? Almost. Yeah. Another great two-player beat em up and uh, this game's for arcade. You got four players on the arcade. I mean, it's freaking lots of fun, man. Curtis can just pick it up and start, like, owning the Yeah, they have the new throwing in the screen. You can throw in the screen. You can do that. Bonk, bonk, bonk. One of my favorite moves. I think Nintendo fucked up by putting Contra 3, the Alien Wars, over on this. there. Over this game? Like, yeah, I'd agree with that. Maybe just had troubles getting more rights from Ninja Turtles again or something. But Classic TMNT tunes. Ta even taken up a notch. And then the boss battles. Boss names, the voiceovers, I just the sound effects. surreal. Man. It is a little easier than most of the turtles. I think all of all of, all of the folks here from Games You Should Know want to tell Nintendo, get your shit together. You should have put TMNT on the SNES Classic. I agree. Right away here, it's uh, looking good. Chrono Trigger, one of the best RPGs of all time, hands down. It's on so many lists. I don't even think like this goes. Like, I'm not even sure we even need to do this one. We can just accept We're that done it here. needs to be here. Title and... screen. <laughs> no, seriously though, Chrono Trigger is one of the best uh, RPGs of all time. It's been like stated over and over and over again. So its absence from the SNES Classic is uh, is a travesty. It's kind of uh, disrespectful, to be honest. It's like a slap in the face from Nintendo. Straight up. It's such a compelling story in this game. Uh, Terrence, Curtis, have you guys uh, played and finished this game, or? Never finished it. I've played, played it. it. Never played it. So I've only ever finished it to get its uh, the classic ending. Although there are something like fifteen or sixteen different endings. Oh, in this game. Uh Because of the time traveling nature uh, of this game, first time you play around, it's almost inevitable that you'll get uh, the standard ending. But. Mm subsequent new game plus starting the game again uh, but you're powered up and you're ready to go uh, you can choose when you finish the last boss depending on how much stuff that you finished in the game you'll get it's one of the best rpgs of all time and therefore it's a shame that it's not on this next classic all right next parents and his love of konami Hey, I'm a big time Konami fanboy. I was born and raised around Konami. Started off on the Contra games, the TMNT games, you name it. I played it and this is no exception here. Another fine game from Konami. You know, it didn't get as much love because it's got that Japanese kind of feel, I feel like. There was a, there was a lot of uh, lost in translation yeah, moments. Read, but it's gaining back some traction. When people ask, you know, what's a good co-op game? Uh, Mystical Ninjas are uh, often brought up. It is a great two-player game. Just your basic side scroll, you got some weapons. You got your boy, uh, what's his name? Goleman. Goleman. That's the one. That makes it special compared to the rest of the... I don't know, it's like, it feels like a Mario, but with RPG elements. And so you got your health, you got coins, you can buy items. I mean, what part of that doesn't sound appealing? Yeah, and it's kind of like a step up above uh, classic beat em up. I'd say it's more of a beat up than Mario and stuff. But there are points where you're jumping up on platforms and stuff, so, you know, it's got a good mix of both. I mean, Double Dragon and Battletoads got a lot of traction in the United States yeah, so I think as that's... beat em ups, but this is, in your opinion, much better, huh? Yeah, I'd say so. 
So it sounds like there's action elements, beat em up elements, platform elements. Kind of RPG elements. Yeah. Like, overall, it's just got a great like a great combination. Well, so, uh, I think we've got enough for this one. It's almost it. I had a, a, a square RPG, so now I've got an Enix RPG. Nice. I see what you're doing. Square Enix. Woo. So, yeah, before the big merge, they were putting out uh, competing games. And Soul Blazer, uh, for me, it was way up there. I must have played this game two or three dozen times, probably. So, what separates this from the Chrono Trigger? So, um,. It's more of an action RPG than Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger, Trigger as even with the uh, active battle system, it's still a traditional. Here's your enemies. You're in a battle sequence kind of thing. Here's your uh, your move lists and so on. This is a uh, more of an action RPG uh, where you have weapons and armor and you battle enemies in real so time. So classic kind of, classic RPGs. Yeah, like, so you don't have a sword. Baldur's so Gate kind of what we know today. Well, exactly. It's really fun for uh, completionists, people who like to 100% complete stuff because uh, there's lots of lots of monster lairs and you're rebuilding the cities basically. Uh, similar to Act Razor, uh, I know a lot of people love Act Razor and you rebuild the city by destroying the monster lairs and the enemies. I'm going to put a square game up, we gotta put an Enix game up. So too. let's think how many how many RPGs do they have at this point in time? They got Super Mario RPG. They got Secret of Mana. Any others? That are on? I think that's it. So yeah, I, I think they could add one more. But I don't think if you had Chrono Trigger, it'd have to be one of these other two one of the other. You get not, not enough Four space RPGs, for both? RPGs, uh, Alright, we got enough footage. We got so. another Natsumi game. They make great games. Serious fun, great I games. heard. They make some serious fun. Pocky Rocky. Here's another game that was, you know, kind of a uh, Eastern game, you know. Not really, not really appreciated here by us Western folk. You know, it's a, it's a shame because I honestly didn't play this until, I don't know, a few years ago. I bought it for my own collection. Really? Played it. And was instantly in love with it. Whole cities run down by weird uh, shadow aliens or something happened. Uh, you have to go destroy them. <laughs> what is going on here? See, this guy, you can wag your tail. The other button actually shoots the leaves. This is rock. This is oh, shoot. this is Rocky. He's a raccoon. Rocky the raccoon. Oh wow, this game looks really cool. I really like the uh, the artwork in the game. Yeah, that yeah, works yeah. good. The controls are good. Very original graphics. Classic oh, top rainy. down. Oh, the yeah, like the tail. He just likes the tail thing better. Stop. <laughs> Shaking that, that ass. Well, I've never seen anyone like that better than the actual shooting. Well, I but can't. I, I'm, I'm holding. I'm holding on to the. Yeah, oh, I mean, you can ah. tap it. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. You can tap it. Yeah. You know, the variety of fun. enemies is actually. Man, this game looks like a lot of fun. You know, you know what this game is going to be good for? Extra Life 2017. It's a great game for Extra Life. Get it. So I know there's a second version. A lot of people say the second uh, part in Rocky 2 are better. It's a better game, but... Um, you know, I'm just showing this one because it's the original. It's got some pretty good reviews. We're done. Curtis, what do you think of the game? It's a lot of fun. It's really, uh... Kind of fast paced, lots going on. You think it belongs in the SNES Classic? We'll get to that. We'll get to that. <laughs> we'll get to that in a moment. Another Konami. Mm. Konami is just killing it. Look at this intro. Awesome. They're all a little classic like, nostalgia right there. They're tiny, they're tiny, they're all a little like. Oh boy. Oh, hop, boy. Hop into it, pal. Is this a two player game? Uh, I don't believe so. Damn. No? No. That's probably why it's not as big. So the first level here, you're going to be like, Andrew, why do you want this game to be on the SNES Classic? Uh, the more you play this game, though, uh, the more you see the depth of the game. The game, it's, it comes off as very unassuming, very simple, but it's, uh, it's actually a very difficult game, but not so difficult that you can't enjoy it. And then jump into the game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
original game, I'm not gonna lie. It's a pretty sweet game, uh, it's very cartoony in style. It's creative. So yeah, it is, a, there is definitely some difficulty to the game. Oh, you then I can jump that. off. So then you can just yeah, jump gotcha. one up that way. Yeah, so there's some puzzle aspect to it. Yeah, so like, there's like, like the reason I really like this game, and it's gonna be hard to see in a minute, the uh, variety of levels. Like, there's a football level where you have to like, actually jump and dash under all the enemies to like, get a touchdown and the other good thing about this game is that there's amazing Star Wars weapons. Oh, is there? There's a whole level that's like a Star Wars. There's a, there's a shitload of mini games in this game too that you can play between levels. Work big style. Well, that's all folks. <laughs> Before we get to the summary let's uh, throw out some honorable mentions that uh, we feel should be there. Like for me Tetris Attack. Where's all the puzzle games? Yeah, and the NBA Jam, great one-on-one -on -one sports game. There's no sports game. Should be on there for sure. So, Curtis, uh, which games do you agree shouldn't be there? Let's give it, give us your three. So, uh, for my three, uh, the games that should not be there, I didn't really care much for Derby, Kirby Dream Course. Um, Ooh, my heart is breaking right now. <laughs> I'm not a, not a oh, big fan God. of it. It's It's... It's a lot of fun. I think it would be, you know, it's a good, probably a good laugh for, uh, you know, a quick puzzle game. You know, it's kind of a mm -hmm. something you can get into real quick. Uh, I don't know about SNES Classic though. Uh, Verdict could be. I think yes it's, or no. I think it's no. I think it's. I think Damn. it's out. I, think it's out. Uh, I did not like F Zero. F Zero seemed like a cultural predecessor to Mario Kart. There wasn't really much going on there. I I think F Zero should just kind of be out. If you already got Mario Kart, you got the power ups, you got the the, the gameplay. It's just it's a classic game, right? Mm -hmm. So the verdict is verdict is out. F Zero out. And what's your third? Third, I gotta say Contra Three. There's really nothing going on there. That is <laughs> maybe it's just because I suck at the game. I don't know. It's just really nothing going on there. That is. To me, is not a classic. It seems like there's a lot of cool stuff going on in Contra in terms of like technical stuff, but the gameplay is just not there. So Contra three out. Out. So the score is Andrew two, Terrence one. <sighs> the three that should be there. Yeah, TMNT four. I think I think that was uh, better than even Contra three. It was not really going, much going on in Contra three, and I mean classic. Classic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Who doesn't love them? So, verdict. So, verdict. I think Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles should be in. Uh, the two Square and Enix games. I don't think there's room enough for both of them. But I gotta, I gotta say, uh, Chrono Trigger. It's just a classic game. Chrono Trigger rates highly everywhere. Everybody plays it and really loves it. I think it should be in there for sure. Um, Good call. And then the third one. I think uh, I like Pocky and Rocky. Pocky yes! and Rocky was a lot of fun. Uh, I really got into it. It's kind of fast paced. Got the Nintendo ethos behind it. That's my, uh, that's my verdict. So two to one for Terrence on the games that should be there. Two to one for Andrew on the games that should get the fuck out. Overall, one one. Hell of a round, sir. And thanks for tuning in to this week's special edition of Games You Should Know. Thanks, y'all. Thanks, Curtis. Thanks. We're out. Games, games You Should, should Know. know. That was a good. That was that's a good. Yeah, that was a good episode. That was, fun. That was a lot of fun. I really like that, boys. <laughs> that was a lot of fun, boys. Glad we got oh, yeah, to, uh, don't forget to stop recording.